Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are going to add another short video in the miscellaneous series. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use selection and hiding options to tackle three-dimensional geometry in ComSol Multiphysics. Before we proceed with the technical discussion, I would like to convey that if you have any research related queries, if you want to do any kind of research collaborations, then you are welcome to write to us in the email IDs mentioned in the description box and I'll be happy to reach out to you. So moving uh, with the technical discussion of today's topic. So suppose this is a geometry which we have taken from an application library model of ComSol which is scattered on a substrate. It is available under uh, wave optics module. You can have access to this. The idea is this particular geometry is a 3D geometry and there is a scatterer inside. But looking at this particular figure, we cannot see, we cannot visualize that there is a scatterer inside. And what happens when we do 3D modeling? We need to put certain boundary conditions, initial conditions. We need to define different domains where there might be different materials placed and segment wise, domain wise, we need to put different materials. So, in order to do all those things, we need to have proper access to individual parts of a total geometry. So if I can say this is a total geometry, there might be 10 different parts. And if we want to define domains, materials, initial properties, we need to have access to part 1, part 2 and up to part 10. And how to avail those things, uh, that is the point of today's discussion. So initially let us visualize what is there inside this particular geometry. In order to do that, there are two options. So one is this wireframe option. If you click here, then you can see if we go to the component, you can see what is there inside. So you can see there is a scatterer inside and outside the scatterer, there are some cubicle box type. In order to do the simulations to define uh, perfectly matched layer and all, they have taken this arrangement but you just uh, try to understand one scatterer is placed inside and outside there are two boxes. Now I need to have access to this scatterer which is placed inside. So just by clicking the wireframe option we can visualize the entire geometry but we don't have access to the in an internal parts if we just click on the wireframe. So this is one option. I just deselect this. There is another option transparency. So if I click on the transparency option, then also you can visualize all the parts which are there inside this particular total geometry. So this is just for the visualization. You want to see what is there inside. You click on transparency or you click on wireframe option. You can visualize but you cannot do anything in terms of modeling. Now we want to do uh, things where, where we can actually get access to the internal domains to do our modeling. So initially I deselect this transparency option. So I went back to the previous condition. Now I would like to talk about this three option. One is uh, select click and hide option. Another is reset hiding and the last option is view unhidden. So I'll initially click on the option click and hide. So once you click here, it will be shaded so you can understand it has been selected. Now you hover through this three dimensional geometry, say this surface, whenever you are hovering, it will be shown in a red color or some other color which you have automatically chosen. Now if I click here, it will be hidden. Uh, now you have access to the internal part. There is another border line here inside and that is why we click again and hide it. Now you can see you can, you can actually see the internal scatterer. If you want to visualize in a better way, we hide all other surrounding portions. Say we keep on clicking and it will keep on hiding for us. Say I can actually hide all the portions. Now we have direct access to this internal scatterer. So this one is the scatterer. Now say <coughs> I would like to put one boundary condition, although it's not a physical thing because today we are not talking about the physics. We are talking about the selection and hiding. So say I would like to put one electric field boundary condition 
on the surface of this cataract. So if I click on electric field, then you can see I can actually have the access to the surface. Wherever I want to put certain electric field, I can just click there and I can put that particular electric field. Now, another thing is uh, material. Suppose uh, this particular material is AU. So you can see automatically AU is selected here. Now somehow if you deselect it, say somebody has deselected and then went back to the previous option. So how to do that? If you click on reset hiding, then it will go back to the previous condition. So here what happens? You can see there is an error. So when you look at the material, you can see there is an error. And the error is coming because you have not chosen AU anywhere. So this might have happened uh, due to uh, manual error. So what I need to do now, I need to go to the scatterer. I need to define that scatterer is made up of this AU material. For that, I keep on clicking this click and hiding. Now I have access to this. I select this entire portion. Uh, so I have actually hidden that part also. So again, let us do it again. I click here, keep on hiding and then deselect it because if I don't deselect it, if I click there again, it will be hiding the scatterer. So now I deselected this. Now I select the scatterer. So the scatterer is selected and you can see there is no error in the AU portion because we have defined that this scatterer is made up of AU. Now I talk about certain initial condition which I was talking about. Suppose if I right click there, I will be having different options, say this initial values. I want to put certain initial values at this particular portion. So I can click here, I can define those initial values. So this way there would be, there might be different parts based on the requirement of your geometry. You do appropriate selection and hiding and thereby you can actually uh, have access to all the portions and you can define your boundary conditions. Now uh, I just uh, want to show this particular option. At this stage all the unhidden portions are visible. If I just click here view hidden portion so it will be uh, like a complementary thing. So initially unhidden portions were visible now Hidden portions are visible, but the unhidden portions are not visible. And if I click on view all, it will go back to the initial uh, geometry or the total geometry. So I hope this particular video was helpful. And <clears throat> most of the time for the students, for the researchers who are new with ComSol, it creates a lot of issues. I hope if you look at this video, if you watch this video, it will help you. So have this video with your, uh, have this video and try to learn the hiding and selection options.